Now let's look at creating the actual design. I want to show you how to make something like this in Pixlr. So I'm going to start over. I will click File, New Image. And I still have my settings here with the correct size and a good file name. So I'm free to just click Create. We already looked at how to load these colors, so I'm ready to get going. I'm picking my Shapes tool and checking the settings here. Let's see what I make. That's okay, Control Z, I'm gonna make a larger outline. Now, I made a second small circle by accident, so I hit Control Z to move that. If I use the arrow tool, I can get it perfectly centered, and I'm ready to start adding text. My trick for adding text where each layer um, or each letter had a different font was to give each letter its own layer. You can see how I was mixing those up easily. So if I click plus here and choose text, I have a layer available to me uh, in which I'm just going to write the letter G. Then this for me in this kind of design, this is the fun part is I just want to check out where was that first font? I just want to check out the different fonts available to me. Ooh, I like that one a lot, actually. It looks kind of like a C, but that's okay. Maybe I could use it for a different letter, but just to show you what I'm doing, this is good enough. All right, instead of typing a B here, I'm going to click plus and add a new text layer, and that means that these letters can be separate from one another and have different texts and colors and all sorts of different kinds of properties. One thing I like a lot about this version of Pixlr is how many different fonts they have. A lot of them look really great. One more layer for my M, capital M. Let's get something very different here. Ooh, that's intense, huh? I'll go back to this one. These look strange together, but that's okay. I'm just showing you how it works. One last layer. Definitely. Okay, so now I can go back and move each of these around. Sometimes you'll have to adjust the box that it sits in, but Pixlr is actually pretty good it's separating one layer from another. It can be difficult to grab one letter when it's next to another. All right, if you want, um, you can do something totally different than this. But with this example, I've got room here in case I wanted to draw something like a beacon or trace an image or draw a griffin or maybe write out Grant Beacon Middle School here. I have a little bit of room left. Or if I just wanted to do something simple, I could leave it like this. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Have fun. Thanks for tuning in.